see kids who are coming from a variety of backgrounds who we are not all on an equal playing field. And I think that is the fallacy of No Child Left Behind. Even though it is intended to bring everybody up, I think what it does is just sort of exacerbate the differences that students have. Overwhelmingly, these kids as seniors say, you know, we're, we're so tired of testing and we feel like we're bound by these tests and we're restricted by these tests and that it doesn't show what I know. One of my colleagues said one time, if they want me to make widgets, fine, give me widgets, but you give me children. As teachers, we know is important, help each kid find their own way to engage with and to understand what they're doing and to be able to explain it. The more you come to understand how much there is to know. There are so many other skills that you know, I feel like I could do, uh, teach more holistically. However, um, because this is high stakes testing and they do not walk across that stage, if they have not passed this test, my primary focus with that class um, is to get them to do so. Is this a student-centered way to learn? No, it's not a student-centered way to learn. It's, about, it's, a, political, it's a, a political initiative, and we need to separate our political initiatives from our, uh, what we say is, are in the child's best interest. <laughs>